Growing up in Texas, I can't say that I'm a huge fan of extremely cold weather, but I do enjoy throwing boiling water into really cold air. In this case, uh, temperature of the air is about 7 Fahrenheit or like negative 14 Celsius. Uh, and it's even better if you have a GoPro that can film at 120 frames per second so you can slow the action down and really see what's going on. So let's take a look at that. Um, so what goes on here, there's a, a few factors at play, and the slow-mo shows you one of them. Uh, boiling water is less viscous, more runny, than colder water. Uh, they actually kind of sound different when you pour them out. They, you can actually watch the two pouring out differently. So when you throw the boiling water up in the air, being less viscous, it breaks apart more easily into tiny little droplets, which gives it a lot more surface area. And the surface area is where the water dumps off of the droplet into the atmosphere itself and turns to these ice crystals. Um, the next two parts of this, they're uh, differential issues. There's a difference in temperature between the water droplet and the air, of course, and so the droplet is dumping uh, a lot of heat out as it goes through the atmosphere. There's also a huge difference in water content. There's 100% water inside the drop and uh, the humidity of cold air is extremely low. Uh, in fact, that's another, the last factor here. Cold air is very dense air, which means the molecules of the air are closely packed together, so you can't really fit water molecules in between. You can't put water into the vapor state very easily. So when the water comes evaporating off the surface of these hot water droplets, they basically cling to any solid particles, uh, nuclei in the atmosphere, and turn to these tiny ice crystals. So that's the basic physics of what's going on there, and I hope you enjoyed the slow motion of throwing boiling water in the air. Stay safe if you do it yourself, and take care.